Hi, I'm Bella Montiel, and my lesson would be about diversity in the classroom so kids can appreciate each other's differences and similarities. So I'd start off by reading this book called What Makes Us Unique. In nature, a rainbow is made beautiful by its different colors. And just like the rainbow, the world is made beautiful because it's filled with many different kinds of people. What makes us different? People are different or unique in many ways. Some of these differences are things we can see on the outside. People have different eye colors, they have different hair colors, they have different skin colors. People come in many different shapes and sizes too. They could be tall or short, big or small. People also move, learn, and communicate in different ways. Some people use a wheelchair to get around. Some people need a guide dog to be their eyes and ears. Some people talk to each other using sign language. Other differences are harder to see because they are on the inside. For instance, some people feel more comfortable alone or in small groups, while others like to be in big crowds. We should always try to understand and respect people's different ways of being in the world. Culture is a word we use to describe the shared attitudes, practices, and beliefs of a certain group of people. Because there are many different cultures around the world, people speak different languages and practice different religions. They also participate in different kinds of traditions and celebrations. What about differences at home? People have different kinds of families. Some families have both a mom and a dad. Others have one mom or dad, or two moms or dads. Some children may be raised by a grandparent, step-parent, or other loving caretaker. Some families live together, and others live in separate homes. Are there other kinds of differences? Yes, many. People have different kinds of jobs. People live in different kinds of homes and wear different kinds of clothes. People eat different kinds of food and take part in different activities or hobbies. There are also different ways people show love and take care of each other. What do these differences mean? Because each of us is unique, we may not always agree with or understand someone else's beliefs or choices. We may not like to dress the same way, eat the same food, or take part in the same kinds of activities. Even though there are things that make each of us different, we are all equally important. We all deserve love, respect, and compassion, regardless what, of what we look like or how we live our lives. The truth is, we are much more alike than we are different. We all want to learn, we all want to laugh and grow and explore. We all want to spend time with our families, be loved, and make friends. We all want to be treated nicely by the people around us. The world becomes a much more beautiful place when we celebrate what we have in common and what makes us unique. So then after I would read the book, I would do an art activity where the format is like so, and I'd have each kid paint their thumb a different color and place it in the heart so they can all see that they're a different color, but we're all in the same classroom and we're all together. So the end result would end up looking something like this. Their name would be under the color that they chose, and then I would hang it up in the classroom somewhere. So I would have one more activity after this where they would make their own fish and glue it to the paper. So I think this activity is way more fun and interactive for them. And it says, our differences make the ocean beautiful. 
So I would give them a blank fish, completely blank, and there would be no limitations to what they would do. So if I was a child and this was my fish, my fish would end up looking something like this. So then after they're done making their fish, they could take it and glue it wherever they would want on the paper. And then the end result would end up looking like that. And I think it's a great way to show the children their differences.